Despite these hard economic times, outdoor recreation and agritourism continue to operate in Mississippi. With proper guidance, landowners can still profit by using their property as a business asset. Mississippi State University's Natural Resource Enterprises Program and MSU Extension hosted a joint workshop recently. That workshop provided creative ideas and management tools that can help landowners get the most out of their enterprises. FarmWeek's Amy Taylor has the story. Private landowners are learning that in the midst of these economic challenges, there's still a chance to gain additional income. At the recent Natural Resource Enterprises workshop in Newton, visitors were updated on important topics, including liability and legal issues, cost share programs, economics, and marketing. Dr. Daryl Jones, NRE program coordinator, talks about why landowners can benefit from starting a business despite the struggling economy. Even in this economic times, uh, this outdoor recreation tourism continues to produce good, good sales. The economic impact of the state is about $2.6 billion a year, so there's a good piece of the pie there that private landowners can can really uh, take advantage of, and that diversifies income on, on their land, and it, it's good for conservation, makes their land more valuable. We found that uh, a 50% increase in land value is due to outdoor recreation. Dr. Jones explains that doing the homework and consulting resources like the NRE program helps maximize profit. He also emphasizes the importance of developing good people skills. Michael May of Chunky, Mississippi, says the Internet is essential for marketing. We own and operate uh, Lazy Acres Plantation, which is a Christmas tree farm and pumpkin patch. Marketing, particularly for our business, is key. The use of the Internet... Uh, is crucial if you're a small business such as a farm, uh, entertainment type farm, uh, Facebook, Twitter, all the opportunities, all the avenues, a website that you can take advantage of, those things are basically free uh, compared to paid advertisement. May says it's also crucial for landowners to begin small and not get in over their heads financially when starting out. The Natural Resource Enterprises workshop concluded with examples of recreational land during a tour of the MSU Coastal Plain Experiment Station. From Newton, Mississippi, I'm Amy Taylor reporting.